Good morning children. Today in social science in economics in class 9 we continue the lesson food security in India. Buffer stock. Now buffer stock it is the stock of food grains that is wheat and rice which is procured by the government and known as a buffer stock. That means the surplus is stored in the wheat rice and all they are stored in the granaries. The government purchases wheat and rice, that is these food grains, through Food Corpora Corporation of India or what is also known as FCI. And where does it buy from? From the farmers. Farmers of those states which have surplus production. So that is how the government is able to procure these food grains, that is wheat and rice, from the farmers who have surplus production, who have more production, so that it can be stored in the granaries and used as and when required. So there should be enough food for everybody in the country. Now we talk of the minimum support price. The price for the crops is pre-announced, that is to the farmers. The government announces that it is called as a minimum support price, that is the government announces the price of the crops at the beginning of the sowing season. So this becomes an, a great incentive to the farmers to grow more. That means if they grow more, they will get more. This price is assured. They know that definitely this amount they will get when they uh, get the crop ready. So this is how. So these food grains are stored in granaries as a buffer stock. So minimum support price is the assured price which the farmers know that they will get after the crop is harvested. So this is what we call as a minimum support price. Now why it is so? This stock of food grains is maintained to distribute food grains through the PDS that is PDS stands for Public Distribution System in the areas of the country where production is less. So so that food is available to those places also to the poor people where they do not have enough. It is provided to the poor sections of society at subsidized prices. Now that is important. Subsidized prices means lower prices. That means the price of these food grains and all is lesser at the fair price shops, lesser than the regular market price. Oh, so, right. So that is what it is known as issue price. So issue price is what? It is the price at which food grains are distributed to poor section of people and known as issue price and the important thing is that it is lower than the market price so if the same thing that they buy in the regular shops the price will be higher whereas at these fair price shops the price is lower so we need to be able to understand that minimum support price and the issue price minimum support price actually is the the price that is announced by the government uh, to the farmers before or at the beginning of the season one can say an issue price is the price at which these food grains are distributed to the poor section and it is lower than the market price so basically it is meant to benefit the poor people people the in our society the poorest of the poor who are there so they are able to buy enough and sufficient food and exist and survive well enough now we have programs for food security in India. So in the mid-1970s uh, mid one can say that the National Sample Survey Organization or what we also address as NSSO, they reported uh, that there is a high incidence of poverty level in a country. Now as a result of this Three important food intervention programs were introduced. That is, uh, uh, the realization that there is a lot of poverty, the level of poverty is high. So, in order to help the poor people, three programs were introduced. The first one was public distribution system or what we also call as the PDS for food grains. Then second was integrated child development services or what we also call as the ICDS. And third was food for work program. So after the report that was submitted by the National Sample Survey Organization and the realization of the high level of poverty 
in our country. So these three programs were formed and introduced to help the poor people. So this is the first one that we talk about is the public distribution system. That is BDS, that is P for public distribution system. This, these are the fair price shops. That means where these essential commodities are sold to the poor people at a subsidized price or at a lower price than the market price. And how is it done? Through government regulated fair price shops or what in general we call as the Russian shops, the food procured by FCI, that is Food Corporation of India, is distributed among the poor section of the society. So this is basically meant to help and support the poor people in the society so, and is known as the public distribution system. Now, these fair price shops or Russian shops that we are discussing are now present in most localities, villages, towns and cities. They are there all over the country. And in all, we have about five and a half, five and a half lakh Russian shops all over the country. So, so that the, there are people poor all over the country in different states, uh, different localities and different towns and cities also. So this is meant to help and benefit the poor people there. They keep stock of essential commodities. Now essential commodities that means they are, they, these are not luxury uh, commodities. These are important for our survival because we definitely need sufficient amount of food for our consumption. Then only can we remain healthy. We don't want people to be starved. We don't want pe poor people to suffer. So this is how the help is uh, given to these poor people. So these essential commodities and in these essential commodities we have food grains, we have sugar, kerosene oil and all. These are what we call as essential commodities, commodities which are essential for our existence and our survival. These essential commodities that is food grains like wheat, rice, sugar, kerosene and all, they are sold to people at a lower price than the market price. We just talked about the issue price. So the essential commodities are sold at a lesser lower price than the regular market price for the same. Any family with a ration card can buy a stipulated amount of these commodities every month from the fair price shops. So whoever has a ration card, they are entitled to buy a stipulated a certain amount of these food grains and essential commodities on that basis. We have three types of cards. We have Antode card for the poorest of the poor. We have the BPL card for the families which are below poverty line. And we have the APL card for the others that is above poverty line. So we have the, these three kind of uh, cards uh, that are there in our country. So this is how the, uh, through these different systems, through these different programs, how the poor people are, are being helped and supported so that they can buy enough food for their survival. Thank you.